Hello everyone. Let's say you are trying to live for Jesus Christ. And as it seems out of nowhere, your friend, old friend, that you used to go to the club with calls you. Back in the past, you would get drunk with this person, get high, like be influenced wrongly with this person. Is it a coincidence that person contacted you around the time when you are trying to live for Jesus Christ, is it a coincidence? And let's say you avoid that trap. Let's say weeks later, an ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend calls you. I love you, I care about you, you know, I still think about you. Mind you, around the time you are trying to live for Jesus Christ. You may ask me, why is this happening to you? And I truly believe it is happening to you as a distraction. So, when you are trying to live for Jesus Christ, don't be in ignorance. You really have to look out for the people who come your way when you are trying to get on the right path. I believe demons can send people and I believe God can send people. If there is a demon that wants you to fail, won't they send someone to get you off your path to God? I believe so. So, when you begin living for Jesus Christ, you may have to change your phone number, maybe change your address, maybe change your social media, maybe change anything that bad people can contact you in the attempt, in the attempt, I believe, to get you back in your old ways. So change what you have to change. Avoid whoever you have to avoid. Move if you have to. Because I believe surely they are coming. I was talking to a person and that person is trying to live for Jesus Christ. And I am telling you, that person is going through demonic attacks. Not only that, someone contacted that person that should not be contacting that person. Somebody who may not even want to speak about God that is probably a huge influence in a bad way. This is not coincidental. This is not by chance, no way. I don't think so. Stop falling for simple tricks. When you live for Jesus Christ, you may have to stay alone for a while. You may have to throw away all of your friends. 
you may have to separate yourself from people for a while so that you can become better. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't have this desperation to want to be around people. Don't have this desperation. Man, I have to have a friend. I have to have a husband right now. I have to have a girlfriend right now. A wife, whatever else like that. If you want a friend, girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, wife, pray about it. Pray about it. Seriously. Many of us don't know how to choose a friend. I believe that. I believe many of us don't know how to choose a spouse. I am telling you. Many of us may go by how big the woman's breast is, how big her behind is. You may go by how much money uh, the man has or how famous he is and stuff like that. We may go by insignificant things to marry someone. Insignificant. But complain about the personality. I believe that happens so much. You focus less on the personality in the beginning, but when you are with that person, you complain about the personality. Newsflash. Why not marry based upon the personality? Uh, <laughs> Let me stop here. God bless you.